Hello, this is uh, Dr. Tui. So the next uh, commonly asked question is uh, tell me about your screens. So in this question, uh, basically the interviewer want to know more about your personality and character, characters, uh, characteristics. So you need to give um, some information about uh, yourself. So I would suggest you prepare for at least uh, three unique experiences and uh, add a story in each strength to prove that uh, you have this kind of strength. You cannot just say that uh, you are a hard, uh, you are a person with conscientious or you are a person with compassion. You need to give them an example, a good story to prove that. And always uh, add a reflection at the end of the story as I always uh, point, uh, uh, reinstated that it's very important to do that. And avoid using some common characters like a hardworking, good personalities because every people uh, is, is hardworking. You, I mean, every people after uh, they finish all of the USME exam, exams, they choose the medical the medicine as their uh, career. And when they came uh, came to the interview, so everyone is hardworking uh, people. So you don't need. To, so this won't give you extra bonus if you tell them this. So that's why I mentioned that uh, try to use the three unique strengths of yourself uh, to, to let them know you better. And if you have a lot of uh, achievements uh, as a researcher, or you are a very experienced technician, like a associate uh, uh, clinical professor uh, or a full professor, uh, you need to, uh, show your team or capability or mentorship. Uh, hu uh, the, those personality or characters related to the humanity. You don't need to let them know that uh, you are uh, intelligent people. You because all of your CV and uh, and uh, application files will show that. So you just need to let them know that you can collaborate with people, cooperate with, uh, with your colleagues, and uh, you can work as a, a team. So. Or you can show that you can, you have experience as a leader, show them your leadership. So that's the key. Okay, so here I will give you an example. Uh, okay, so Dr. Sui, uh, can you tell me about your strengths? Uh, yeah, of course, I think uh, I'm very conscientious uh, to my patient. Uh, for example, when I was doing the uh, rotation uh, in New York City, uh, I have a patient with uh, uh, lung cancer. And uh, so my attending want to uh, initiate the immune therapy for that patient. But I know that the patient complained of uh, a year drainage before seeing the attending. So I reported it to, to my attending and uh, he further uh, confirmed it with the uh, uh, patient primary care doctor. So we just sent the patient to treat his ear infection first. Uh, so you see that in this story, I'm always trying to make sure that uh, uh, our treatment uh, um, or the um, medication won't cause a second damage to our patient. So patient uh, safety always comes first. So that's why I I think I'm a conscientious person. So you see that in this story, I told the uh, I told the uh, interviewer that uh, uh, I'm I'm a conscientious person and uh, I'm. Uh, are very careful whenever my attending or supervisor prescribe medication or uh, give the patient treatment plan, always double check uh, if the, it has can hurt my patient and also give them a story about that to describe that uh, how, uh, why, uh, how, uh, I, how I did for my, one of my patient. And then I re reflect that, uh, I use that story to prove that uh, I'm a, a conscientious person. And uh, I always try to make sure that uh, our treatment plan won't cause uh, second damage to, to my patient. So that, that's, a, uh, uh, that's an example I'll give to you. So think about your own story and uh, use this template uh, to prepare for this question. And I hope you can, uh, you'll be doing very well uh, in your, during the, your interview. So good luck.